Ladies and gentlemen, Tactical Vance here, and welcome to a news update today. Star Citizen hits 116 million, getting close to 1.4 million citizens. That's quite a lot. We've also seen details on two new ships, one being the Caterpillar and the second one being the Drake Dragonfly. The Caterpillar is made by Drake. It's sort of a pirate ship, but I suppose that's open to interpretation of what is a pirate ship i think really it's probably a bit of dare i say a jack of all trades ship it's got some really good specs and it's built up of multiple small pods that can be swapped out sort of a modular system basically so you can swap out and equip it to whatever fits your playing style and it's one of the first ships to have a side mounted command module now normally what you would expect to see on a ship like this was sort of the normal escape pods where you just stand in as one man and get ejected out the seat. The actual command module ejects as one large pod. That is really cool. Hopefully you will have the ability to redock if you accidentally click on the wrong button. One thing that has impressed me with the Caterpillar, not just the ship but the development process, from grey box to pretty much, I don't say finished, interior completed, it only took about three or four weeks. It didn't seem to take that long. So very, very impressed with that. Hopefully that they can apply that same sort of pipeline to the rest of the ships to sort of speed up the process. So then they can sort of move on to sort of in-game stuff, detract away from the ships a little bit. Now, the second ship we've seen is the Dragonfly. The Dragonfly was originally supposed to be a starter ship, but ended up turning out to be a small snub fighter. Is it a snub fighter or vehicle? I think it's a bit of everything. This small vehicle can fly in space, sort of like a motorbike. There's no cage around the outside. It can also fly in atmosphere as well. So you can fly on a planet, very similar to what they had, I suppose, in Star Wars. Now, the only downside is, well, I suppose it's not really a downside. It's sort of expected, really, for something this small. It has no jump capability. It's just a small transportation ship. What I do like about it, it's got one cargo unit which means you can pick up small supplies. You also have the ability to take a second person with you that sits on the back. And, and this is really cool. That second person who's sitting on the back can actually fire their gun. Now, let's not try to over -egg this too much. So far, gun fire on ships is pretty weak. Clearly it is because obviously the size of the weapon you're firing. But I suppose if it's you against another bike, then obviously it's gonna be a lot more effective. You could also take a missile launcher, which would then give you the ability to take out a ship or another small vehicle. The ship has three different modes, depending on what status it's in, if it's on planet side, if it's in space, or if it's in storage as well, because it folds down quite small. There is a possibility that it may even be able to be loaded into smaller ships into cargo units we'll have to wait and see later on what do i think about the ship i think it's pretty cool guys it's not one that i'm gonna buy i'll tell you why for all of us who've got ships already if you've got larger ships maybe you've got a freelancer constellation a bigger ship maybe you've got a caterpillar or maybe even bigger than that i see this as quite a small thing in the game as it's down by the sort of vehicle class and i think this would be something that we can gain in game quite easily now there is obviously a perk of buying the ship now you do get it in a limited color but for me i probably prefer to have the black one anyway the second thing i want to bring up today guys which i don't know if it's something we need to be concerned about or not or something that we need to keep in mind it's always been my concern with these smaller ships and the smaller vehicles Originally, when Star Citizen came out, we saw the Constellation coming with the Rover and the Phoenix coming with the upgraded Rover. And then we had the Snub Fighters on the Constellation and obviously the Karak and the Idris and its mother ships as well, and the 890. That seems to be diluting down now because these sort of space motorbikes stroke vehicles can go into any sort of medium, smallish sized ship. When you're inside of a ship, if you look in the back of the Starfarer, how many of them small motorbikes can I fit in the back? I want to have fun in the game as well, but it's going to be slightly annoying if you could just put in 10, 20 of them in the back and they'll all be, you know, flying about. I'm hoping that Star Citizen come to some sort of compromise, maybe set it so a vehicle can be allocated to a point in the ship in the same way they're sort of doing with the hangar. So you would go into the cargo bay, and there'd be set amount of areas. So each ship about to take a certain amount of small fighters. Otherwise, I can see what could possibly happen. 
you might end up picking a ship that has nothing to do with a fighting role purely on the basis because of the amount of small ships or fighters it can fit in the cargo bay. There is a mechanic at the moment that will slightly prevent that and that is the, the life support will support X amount of people on the ship. So if there's 10 people on the ship and the ship's plated for 10, you can get 11 or 12, but obviously the oxygen levels will start going a bit lower. That helps a little bit, I suppose. We'll have to wait and see how it pans out. But keep that in mind. If you're thinking about going and buying, you know, five or six of these now, keep in mind there's a possibility you may not be able to use them in the way that you first thought. But like I said, for me, I'm going to hold out, guys. Just get it in game. Seems a small thing to get. Unless you want a sort of support Star Citizen. Some really cool stuff there. It's really good to see that Star Citizen are pushing the design a little bit away from, dare I say, ships more into the vehicle aspect of it. I've no doubt that we're going to see loads and loads and loads of planet side vehicles coming up later on. We've only got a couple so far. There was going to be more. Once we get that planet side landing introduced, then we can, I'm sure we'll see it really accelerate in that area and some real cool stuff will come out. If you haven't joined Star Citizen yet, guys, I've left a link in the description below that will give you some in-game cash. Also, keep in mind by registering now, you secure your gaming name. So even if you're not actually going to purchase a ship now, doesn't matter. It's worth just going registering on the site. Get the cash, save it until maybe later on you get the money. At least this way you get your in-game name. I've always found that frustrating in the past when you start playing a game and you can't get your own name. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Thanks for listening and don't forget to subscribe.